Hello and welcome back to Afterlife. Ranger Station Alpha has been completed and if I do say so myself, it's looking pretty awesome. I had hoped to get this episode out a few days ago already, but unfortunately I got hit by a bug that took down the dinosaur. However, I'm better, I'm back, and it's time to get to work. Now while I was logged out, it seems I had a visit from Miney. Love your area, it looks great. Why, thank you Miney, that's very kind of you. And it's of course also very kind that you didn't put my pig at the bottom of a mine or something. Now I neglected to mention it in the last episode, but when we log out of the server, we don't just log out, we turn into pigs which other players can manipulate. And then when we rejoin, we'll appear wherever that pig has last been left. Now that of course gives opportunity for a lot of shenanigans and it seems that we have some junk mail. Let's see what we got. We have an item frame. Okay, we have a map. And then we have a book. Odd Jobs by Miney. I assume this is some advertisement for her new Odd Jobs business. So let's see what she has to say. Uh, let's pop that into our hand. And let's see. Grand opening, Miney's Odd Jobs is now open for business, resource collection, junk removal, handyman services, errands and more. Scan the QR code for more info now. QR code, oh, um, okay. Oh, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. We got an item frame, we got a map and oh yeah, look at that. Great job, Miney. I'm gonna scan this, see where it takes me. And hopefully it's not someplace weird or strange. You never know when you scan random QR codes, but let's give it a go. And the QR code took me to a brilliant video ad for Miney's Odd Job Services. If you haven't checked out Miney, head over to YouTube, subscribe to her channel and check out her content. She's got some really good stuff on there and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But let's get back to the matter at hand and I've got a bit of a problem in the sense that I have no idea what I want to do today. The first thing I want to do, however, is just put up a little sign because I've got a guest book in there which nobody is signing. Probably because they don't know about it yet, so I'm just going to put up a sign or two just to make sure that they know there is a guest book inside and they must please go and sign it. So, welcome to Ranger Station. Nah, it's not going to fit. Alpha. And then on the next line, we'll say. Please sign. Yeah, that's not going to fit. I'll have to think of something else. Um, so I ended up using two signs. It looked awful and I took them down immediately. What I'm going to do instead is just put up one sign right above the guest book here and then just let people know that there's a guest book whenever I have a chance and hope that they come in and sign it. So let's see. All guests, please sign the... Okay, let's just four lines here. Guest book. Guest. Guest. No, not guest. Guest book. Okay, there we go. That's done. And then hopefully they'll come in, they'll poke around, they'll see the sign, and they will sign our guest book. And that has taken me an entire day, so let's go to sleep and think about what we want to do. So while I was logged out, I had another visitor and we have got a little package from Tink. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Tink, you are a legend. We've got sand, we've got bone, gold and carrots, gold, redstone. Oh, this is brilliant. Six free stacks of rockets voucher. Oh yeah, 20% discount at wing shop. And two free armor. Oh, this is... Brilliant Tink, thank you so much. This is very, very much appreciated. And of course, a shulker box and a sign as well. But I've had some time to think about what I want to do and I have finally planned out the rest of the episode. Now the first thing I want to do is of course, dig a lake. We've got plenty of nature around us and a lake would fit perfectly. And all good lakes start with a good path. I want to build it right over in that area in front of me. 
That'll ensure we can see it from the porch. And I think sitting on the porch looking out at the lake would be brilliant. So let's get started. The first thing, of course, is to complete this path. We'll try and blend it in into the surroundings, make it look like it's a part of the scenery. And then we will start chopping down some trees, flattening out the area, and finally digging and filling the lake. Now I've built a few ponds in the path, but never before a lake. I'm not entirely sure how big it's going to be, but it's going to be bigger than my usual ponds and it's going to be a lot of work, so let's go. As you can see, I've been a pretty busy boy. Not only digging the lake, but I've also been mining. And there's a very good reason I have been mining. I noticed that I might have shortchanged Tink for the armor in the previous episode. I could swear that that sign said one diamond. But looking back at my footage, it actually said two diamonds. Now, I don't have any diamonds, so I had to go digging for some. And I've also got some iron, some gold, some coal, and some redstone. Now there's a little bit of a snag as well that I am not 100% sure how many pieces of armor I actually bought from him. I think it was about three or four. I'm going to make it all right, but first I need to break down all of this ore. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of gold ore, which is important because I have no idea what is happening with the gold situation on the server at the moment. We've got 14 pieces of diamond ore, and then we have got a mess of redstone. I'm just going to stack them all up here so we can take a nice look at the fruit of our labor before we break it down and see exactly how many pieces of each we get. And from up here, I must say, the lake is looking pretty good so far. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. I want to dig out a few deeper areas, and then I want to line the bottom with some mossy cobblestone. Some cobblestone, I'm going to use some slabs, and see if I can get it to be a bit more of a natural flow than just the block, block, block drop. Anyway, the last thing we've got on our hands is some coal. Not too many of those that we found, but we've got a bit and every piece of coal is good because I don't have a lot of fuel at the moment. And that should do it. That is all of the ores we got and that is looking pretty sweet. So let's see. We've got some gold. We've got some diamonds, redstone and coal. So let's get busy. Let's get up there and let's break all of this down to see exactly how many resources this little trip has got us. Just the last few pieces to go. My fortune pickaxe has done an amazing job and let's see how rich it has made us. Am I the richest Fungosaurus on the server? I have a sneaky suspicion that I am. So here we go, we have 32 diamonds, not bad, not bad, 55 raw gold, an absolute ton of redstone, one measly piece of iron, and of course, 30 pieces of coal. Not too bad, quite profitable overall, and it means that I can finally go to the shopping district and square things with Tink. So let's grab our stuff. And here we are, I've written a little apology note. It says, Dear purveyor of all things armor, I might have misread the sign and underpaid for some armor pieces. Please accept this diamond block as restitution for my error. Kind regards, Fungosaurus Rex. And we're just going to pop that in there. And then we're going to pop in the diamond block as well. And that should square things between us. But if I'm still underpaid, just let me know and I will make it right. But right now, it's time to get back home. And it's time to continue digging the lake. So most of the pond has been lined with some mossy cobblestone and cobblestone, but I do think I want to add a little bit of variation and a little bit of color to the bottom as well. And for that, I want to use some mud and packed mud. Now that presents two problems. Firstly, 
I don't have any mud. And secondly, I don't have any packed mud. Now for mud, I don't have much of a problem. I can make some. But for packed mud, I need some wheat. And I don't have any wheat at all. But we're going to tackle this one problem at a time. And the first thing we're going to do is make some mud. So let's go grab some supplies. And let's make some mud. Now that I've got mud, I need to find wheat to make packed mud. And usually the best place to find a bunch of wheat easily is a village. So let's just go in here, poke around and see what we can find. Okay, they've got potatoes. I'm taking those. They've got some spruce logs. I'll take those as well. But uh, no wheat in there. And it doesn't actually seem like the jungle village has any wheat. Which is a bit of a problem. It's quite annoying. They've got some pumpkins laying about, but I don't see any hay bales, which means I don't have an easy source of wheat over here. Oh, come on. Let me just get over this thing. As you can see, pumpkins, berries, but no hay bales whatsoever. And these houses aren't really helping much either. None of these chests have any wheat in them. They've got some bread, but that is not the wheat product I am looking for right now. And that means I'm going to have to grow some of my own wheat. Not the end of the world, but a rather annoying situation. Now, usually growing some wheat is not a problem. You pop down a bucket of water, you hoe down the area around it, and you plant your seeds. But I don't want to have a wheat field in the middle of my forest. I want to keep it as natural as possible. And that means I need to devise another method of growing wheat. I've got an idea. I'm going to build a little wheat growing machine. It shouldn't take up too much space and it won't be as much of an eyesore as a massive wheat field in the middle of the forest. So first thing I need to find out is can I plant wheat by dispenser? And let's just pop our dispenser down. Come on, right over here. Here. Now, come on, I want it to face the farmland. Let's try that once more. I think I'm just going to put down some dirt over here. Go over here. And that should allow me to put the dispenser facing the farmland. There we go. Okay. Step one is complete. Let's pop some seeds in there. And now comes the moment of truth to see just how far we'll actually be able to automate this entire thing. Okay, that, that's not going to work. Redstone torch goes there. Wheat goes out and it doesn't get planted. And that means there's still going to be some element of manual labor involved. But now we know and we can plan accordingly. So let's get inventing. The first thing I need to do is, of course, work out a system to harvest the wheat. And for that, I think I'm going to use a piston with an observer, which gets triggered by the piston, feeds back into the piston, and we get a continuous motion. Firstly, I need to put the observer in the right spot, facing the piston like so. And then we need to run some redstone in order to get a repeating signal. I'm going to need some repeating repeaters for that just to be able to set the length of the pulse we'll put one there and one there and that's a good start now the next thing i want to do is of course have an on off switch for this machine um which i'm struggling with at the moment because i am lacking a sticky piston i don't have any slime i'm trying to do it without slime but so far i'm not having much luck this is becoming way too complicated for a simple on off switch and yeah it's it's just not working and i suppose that's the price you pay for being too lazy to go and find some slime there's a bunch of people online at the moment so let's see if anybody can point me in the right direction we'll just pop a question in here anybody know where i can find slime and then we'll see if anybody gets back to me but in the meantime i must say uh, yeah this definitely is not working let's get rid of it and once again, Tink is proving to be an absolute legend. He's got some slime. He said he's going to bring it over. I offered to go and fetch it, but he's already on his way. And that's brilliant because I haven't met him yet. And this will give me a chance to say hi, have a little bit of a chat and get to know another member of the crew. Until he arrives, I'm just going to continue doing a little bit of work around here. Just put down a few more slabs. Oh, here we go. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, um, hang on, my, my mic might not be working. Um, hello, can you hear me? I'll 
I'm going to take that as a no. Um, ah, jeez, this sucks so much. Um, okay, um, let's just let's just write him a message, let him know what's going on. And of course, the problem is that I didn't have my mic plugged in when I started the game earlier, and I don't think the voice chat picked it up correctly when I did plug it in. OBS is working fine, but it seems a Minecraft voice chat has a bit of an issue, which is just absolutely terrible. I want to talk to Tink, and um, uh, I suppose I'm going to have to write to him like some primitive reptile. So that unfortunately did not go the way I wanted it to go, but we got some slime. Thanks again, Tink. The guy gave me a ton of slime blocks, and I've got more than enough that I need to build this machine. So I think I've got the on-off switch sorted out for the piston over here. We'll just give that a little bit of a test. Throw the switch, and there it goes. It is working, but we have another problem, and that is that whenever a piston passes over farmland, it flattens it out and it is no longer farmland and that won't do so we'll have to solve that little issue next let's just stop it and then let's get busy figuring out what exactly we're going to do about that situation so i think what we might need to do is actually move the farmland in order to harvest it instead of having the piston push it off just make sure yeah it flattens out the farmland all right Let's see how we can solve this little issue. Now what started out as a little redstone machine to grow some wheat has turned into an absolute monster. What I wanted to avoid was an eyesore and I think I have failed miserably. However, it has become an obsession. I need this machine to work. I need to get something that can grow me some wheat. And like all my redstone contraptions, it has become my child. Other people might think it is ugly, but to me, it is the most beautiful thing in the world. Now, most of the machine is complete. The last thing that I need to do is just hook up the bone meal dispenser, get a stop-start switch on that going, and I'm almost there, but it is taking way longer than it should. My tiny little machine has grown into a big hulking monster, but I think we're almost there. Okay, so... All I need to do is get this piston to move and for that I'm going to need to figure out some alternative wiring. But let's just check it. Yeah, that works. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, um, let's just get this stopped and then let's figure out how we can fix this situation. And everything should be working now. As soon as I flick this, yeah, there we go. Everything is running. I've set the timings on everything and hopefully this is going to work. I could have grown stacks and stacks of wheat by now, but I don't care. Look at this. Okay, let's plant that. And there it goes. Yes, it is working. Now, I fully admit this project is an absolute boondoggy, but I don't care. Look at it go. My machine is working and it is producing wheat. So, let's get a few stacks and then we can get back to finishing the lake. And with that little project that took me way too long to complete out of the way, we can finally reap the rewards. Look at that. It only took me about three or four hours to produce two whole stacks of wheat. Time well spent. And additionally, we managed to completely fail at our mission of not ruining the landscape. It's not using too much bone meal though, so I'm quite happy about that, but overall... We are done with that side project, so it's time to go over here, make ourselves some of that packed mud, which means that we'll be able to finish the bottom of the lake and finally get it filled. So let's get busy and let's finish this project. Our lake is pretty much done, still some decoration left to do, but so far it is looking amazing. Still a little bit of greenery, plants and so on needed in and around the lake, but right now it's time to move on to other things. 
I've been doing a little bit of work around the ranger station, adding in a few bits and bobs here and there, but I need to get this outhouse finished because Skunk is online and I have invited him to come over and sign my guest book. He should be here any minute, so I better get things ready. Max. Ahoy! I'm here. Hey! Where are you at? Wow, look uh -huh. at this place. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming along, it's coming along. Coming this is uh, this is yeah, beautiful. This is a uh, Ranger Station Alpha, and um, I, I I want you to take a, a quick look up there, right 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 up there by the balcony. You see you see there. Yes, Al Alberry. Okay. <laughs> you see there next to the window to the flower box. There's your bricks, my Berry man. Bush. Yeah. No no no. Oh, oh There's, the, your the There's your bricks. There's your bricks. Hey, look at that. I I was wondering where you were gonna put it. I haven't been over here to see this yet. Ah, so okay. This is well, really well, yeah. Nice. I'll, I'll I'll give you the quick tour. As you can see, we've got our um, our fire pit over, or oh, our campfire over here. You know, we, we, we oh, can. Oh, you kept the fire pit. I had you integrated to. Integrated it. I had to. That's awesome. I mean, come on, I had to. Oh. Um, this is this is Pepper. I haven't named him yet, but um, I think Pepper. it's I think it's Pepper. I'm, I must just go <laughs> check my comments. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I I think so. Um. Yeah, I, I, somebody in the comments suggested it, so so that's what it's going to be. It's I think it's an awesome name. And then we've got the the, the ranger station here. Let's, let's just take a look. Uh, well, let's just take a walk around for a second. So so we've got yeah, a little let's take a walk around. just just a little bit of a table over here. Table some tables and that's chairs. Nice. Um, you know, just oh, just the bamboo. Yeah, with the scaffold. That looks, that makes for uh, a good chair. Wow. Yeah. No, I I, th I think it's a qu quite a nice chair. Um, I'm not sure about the table yet, but I'll I'll get to that. But anyway, and then over oh, this direction, nice. we've 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 got our our little lake over here. Um, not quite done yet. Still a little bit more detailing that needs to be done over here. But um, overall, it's almost wow. there. Um, I think I need a another big stone over there somewhere. Uh, You've been hard at work, dude. This is amazing. This looks so good. And then, um, yeah, let's 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 go in here for a second. Um, let's check it so out. Yeah. Oh, Welcome to Look my it. house. Welcome yes. to my house. Uh, oh, got a nice a carpet. uh, carpets everywhere. Yeah, and um, a little workshop right right over here. Oh my goodness! So we can get all of our all of our stuffs done, and then. Um, Ow. Yeah, and then the reason why I've asked you over, over here we have the guest book. I'd like everybody who comes over and uh, visits the station to just come and sign the guest book for me. Um, oh, what a great idea. Had a few people come over, but I don't think they knew about it. Oh, Because right, I, wa right. I, was, I wasn't online when they were online, so um, uh. yeah. <laughs> but when <laughs> I saw you pop up, uh, I thought, hey, um, I, I need somebody to come and sign my guest book. So, Mr. Skunk, would you do me the honor of being the first I to would. sign my guest book? I'm gonna. Oh, I, I would love to. Let me not ruin this, though. How do I? Hey, I can't. Can I click it? Oh, I gotta take it. Yeah, you right. gotta you take it. Sign you gotta it take in it. There. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, can I do a color? Is that you is can? That you can do whatever you want over there. I brought my special blue pen with me. So oh, awesome! You know, awesome. That's good. That's good. Sign it in the blue. Nice. Uh, just right, right under the line, right? Yeah, yeah. Just, just anywhere under the line. There is perfect. Oh, I didn't do it in the blue. Oh, oh for <laughs> Pete's sake. <laughs> well, fortunately, you can still edit it, so um, go ahead. There we go, go ahead. My, my pen's got an eraser, so, you know. Yeah, you, that's, 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 the, that, that's like the hard part of the eraser, correct? It erases ink. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, the one. The, it's a new invention, you know. Oh, it's, awesome. They just came out with it. Let's see. Let's see. I see if that's good for you. Ah, that is brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, good. Oh, awesome wonderful. stuff. And uh, uh, the, the the most important feature, it's not quite done yet. I need to go get myself a, mm -hmm. uh, um, what do you call it, a mangrove trap door to finish it off. But um, right out yeah. back here, we have the outhouse. Oh, of course. There it's you go. A there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as I said, I, I, I still need to get a mangrove trap door just, just to, to finish it off. Oh. But... Um, Rex, what have you been doing in there? Holy smokes. Dude, I'm a dinosaur. What do you expect? <laughs> hey, you know what I was going to suggest to you here? Um, yeah, yeah. You could put like a... We have uh, colored campfires on the server. Ooh. We do. So you could put... 
Yes, yes. Oh. So all you have to do is put a piece of wool yeah, underneath yeah. the campfire, and yeah. it'll make the smoke that color. Are, are you wearing but, a Halloween outfit? I was wondering if you're gonna notice. No, uh, I, I literally just noticed. I was looking at my that that that. Oh, that's awesome! Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, that's I that's spent, awesome. Like, way too long on this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bro, worth it, worth it. Oh, good. Oh, that makes me happy because I was worth I'm it. Like, it is oh, awesome. I, I love I it. Spent like twelve hours working on this yesterday, like off and on. Like it was, it was. That's uh, probably way too much time to spend on the skin, but I had this never, idea in my head. Never, I was never. Like, I gotta do it. The next, the next part or of the uh, of the station, uh, you know, every ranger station needs a lookout tower. So I've got a little oh. road going all the way up here. Yeah, like the uh, uh, what's it called? Like the fire watch tower. Yes, the, yes, the, exactly that. Yeah. The watchtower. That's it. That's it. Oh. So yeah, we've 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 got the road. It's I literally just finished putting it in, so there's nothing spectacular about it at the moment. But uh, I love the wood, like the wood pathway, because that makes that mm. when you do see that like in within like forests, like a yeah, wood, like on a trail. That's oh, so got cool. Oh, a foxy bunch. Fox. Yeah, we've got a bunch of foxes here. I've, I never realized what weird sounds they make. He's not scared of me. Huh. Yes. Aren't they usually scared of you? So yeah, it just goes up to here. I haven't started on the watchtower mm -hmm. yet. I've literally just finished getting all the materials I need. So yeah, that's that's the the next step or the next project. Um, yeah, I was about wow. to get started on that. So yeah, this is a nice hill for it too. I'm just yeah. like free camming around, just looking. Mm. And it's like wow, that's this is nice. You can see everything. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's a tour. Yeah. What that was what we've got so far. I have to come back over when you do the tower. I, uh, I want to see that. Oh no, no, awesome, that, so. awesome. Yeah, let I'll, me know. Let I'll, me know. I'll, I'll give you a shot. I'll give you a shot. All right, sounds good. I'll see you, buddy. Cheers, man. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that was fun visiting with Skunk once again, and he's given me a great idea for the outhouse. I am definitely going to get a campfire under there, get some green smoke billowing up from the bottom of it, just to make it extra gross. And I think I'm going to do that before I get started on the tower. But that means I'm going to need some wool, and while I'm at it, I'll probably grab a mangrove trapdoor somewhere as well. I don't know if they sell any mangrove wood in the shopping area, I'll go have a look just now. But wool shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, I've been through the shopping district two or three times. I haven't found a single place that sells mangrove. There's plenty of mangrove being used in the build, so obviously somebody's got mangrove. But right now, I'm the only one online. And that means I can't ask anybody where they got it. I'm going to have to go and find it on my own. There's plenty of mangrove over here. I haven't actually looked inside. Maybe they're selling mangrove. Wait. Oh, no, 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 I remember this. Okay, now they're selling leather and steak, so... Yeah, that's not going to help me very much. I'm gonna have to go and find a mangrove forest, and unfortunately, that's one of the biomes that Jay warned me is not anywhere nearby. So I'm gonna have to pull up the map, see where I can find a mangrove swamp, and then fly over there, get myself some wood, and finish the outhouse. So Jay wasn't joking when he said it's not nearby, it's in fact 5,000 blocks away. I'm almost there though and we should see it, yeah there it is, as you can see I'm loading new chunks all the time so nobody's been here and that means I have some unspoiled mangrove swamp to harvest. I also have a shipwreck over here and I'm gonna see if I can find the chest. Um, okay, I don't know if there's gonna be one back here but there should be one in the front, let's just dig it out. Uh, come on, don't tell me I don't have a chest in this ship. Let's just get up top, dig this out, and there we go. We have a chest, and inside we have, oh goodness, a few carrots. Okay, I'll take the carrots, but that's all we have in there. Not worth the effort. I'm going to see if there's another chest back here, but to be honest, I'm not getting my hopes up. And it seems that we do not have another chest back here, which makes this quite disappointing. But we're here for the mangrove, not for the shipwreck, and there is plenty of it. I don't need too much, I need a few proper gills, a bit of leaves would do, and then of course some roots and wood. 
And that means that just one or two of these trees will be more than enough. I'm not going to spend too much time cutting down mangrove as it is an extremely annoying wood to harvest. So I'm going to start off by just snipping off all of the leaves at the top, which should expose the wood and make it easier to chop down and then just work my way down on all of the trees. I'm not going to take away too much of the area here because I don't want to leave it spoiled for anybody who might want to come and settle here. Maybe in the future somebody will join and decide they want to build a house over here. So I'm going to try and leave this as intact as possible. See if I can take a few trees without ruining the overall aesthetic of the area. And leave plenty of mangrove for whoever else would want to come and collect some. So let's get started. Snip some leaves, get some wood and collect a few propagules as well. 20 minutes later I'm reminded why I hate harvesting mangrove. I took down three trees. It took me 20 minutes. But overall, I think I didn't have too much of an impact. You can barely see where I took it away. There's a little bit of exposed mud where the trees used to grow. But if anybody wants to come and settle here and regrow those, it's easy enough to do. Now that I've got my mangrove, I can head back home. I can finish the outhouse and then get working on the watchtower. So it's time for the long flight home. I'm finally back, I've put away all of my goodies and I can finally make my mangrove trapdoor. There we go, four of them. And then we'll just go and pop this in the outhouse. Let's close the door to prevent any bears from coming in. And here we go. Now, I've also got some green wool and a campfire. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is install that. And um, let's see, how deep do I need to plant this? I'll need to go down one more because I don't think I can get the campfire. Nah, okay. Let's just remove the wool. We'll dig down one block, put the wool down there. There we go, one block of wool and then we just put the campfire on top of that if I'm correct. And oh yeah, look at that green smoke, that is pretty awesome. But I don't think that's going to come through the slab, which means I need to remove the slab and bring this campfire up one block. So let's just get all of that back. And I've ruined my campfire, I'll have to go and make a new one. Let's grab our wool and then let's go make ourselves a new campfire. Take two, I've got a new campfire and this time I know what I'm supposed to do. So let's just pop the wool in there and then we'll put the campfire on top of that. And that should be coming through. Yes, look at that. Oh my goodness, does that not look stinky? Absolutely brilliant. And then we'll just pop our mangrove trapdoor down there. And... Hey, that actually works quite well. It keeps the, the fumes in until you open it. And then it just blows out. That is absolutely disgusting. And I love it. So, I think the outhouse is pretty much done. There's just one more thing that I would like to add. And that, of course, is some white gold. A bog roll, some toilet paper. Something you desperately need in this situation. So we've got our toilet paper, we've got our stinky loo over there, and this outhouse is absolutely brilliant. Now as much fun as they are, all of my side quests have been completed for today, they took an absolute age, but I think it's finally time for us to get back to building. So far we've dug a lake, we've done some odds and ends around the ranger station, and now it's time to head up the mountain and finally build ourselves a watchtower. Let's go. Watchtower is done, decorated and looking absolutely fantastic. Towers high into the sky and allows us to see for many many miles in all directions. And of course, it serves as a landmark to help me find the ranger station a bit easier. I don't know if you've noticed, but all these trees look kind of similar and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to know where I am. But just look at our magnificent tower. Absolutely fantastic. 
It's been a long day and we've got a ton of work done, but that, ladies and gents, is unfortunately all we have time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did, and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.